So what is going on everyone, Fernando Silva here with another video and today we're going to be talking about the G Suite on iPadOS 15 on the iPad Pro. So I released this Microsoft video on iPadOS 15 a couple days ago and the overwhelming response was A, we want a part 2 for that so yes that's coming, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Outlook, Teams, OneDrive and the other auxiliary apps from Microsoft but the other one was everybody wanted to see how G Suite acted on iPadOS 15. So that's what we're gonna do in this video, talk about G Suite on iPadOS 15, and without further ado, let's get it going. Also got myself a pair of blue light glasses, so let's see if they're the real deal or not because I've never actually used a pair of blue light glasses before, but let's get into the video. So let's get right into this everybody and the first thing that we're going to do is we actually should delete all of the Google Suite applications off of your iPad Pro or any iPad OS 15 device that you have. The reason we do this is because when you go into Google Drive for instance, right? So you can see that right here we opened up my drive, we're in Safari and the first thing that it says is open in the Google Drive app, right? Which is what it defaults to. But if you want to pick on something that is in the Drive app and let's say you want to go into your financial statements or something like that, you double click and then defaults and then opens to the application. So you can see that right now the application of Google Sheets is open. So if I wanna actually use the web portal version, which is the one that's a lot better because just to give you guys a rundown on the reason why we're avoiding the applications because it's just not there yet at all. There's no cursor support. You can see I'm hovering over different things. Yes, you can click on them, but you can't, but it doesn't take advantage of 13.4 cursor support. If I go into the dashboard, if I want to highlight multiple things, hold shift and click on something else, it doesn't work. So a lot of the function isn't there on the actual application side. And why that is, I really don't know. So if you guys just need to view documents and quickly change little things, then okay, go with the actual applications. Like I have the applications on my phone, but not on the iPad. So what I'm going to do is actually delete all of these applications. You want to remove the app totally from the iPad. You don't want to just delete it and move it to the app library. You want to remove it totally. So we'll delete those. I already deleted the, the last one, which I think was slides. So now if we go into here and go into Safari, if I click on the financial statements, then it opens up within Google in Safari, which is a totally different situation, right? So here you can see that's a lot better. It does hover over things. Basically, it's the exact web portal version of Google Suite that you're so used to using on your Mac OS computer or your Windows computer. So that is how we're gonna to touch on these today. So we're gonna go through every single application. So we're gonna go through Google Sheets, Google Docs, and Google Slides. Those are the three main ones. If you guys want me to touch on other ones, then by all means, leave the comments down below. But I wanted to focus just on the main ones today. So we're gonna open up a brand new one. The first one we're gonna to touch on is Google Sheets because I know a lot of people have questions about Google Sheets and how it works, how it works on the iPad. And again, just to show you, we are on iPad OS 15. If we go into the About section, you can see software version 15.0 with the W beta one. So if we go back into Safari, here you can see we have a blank Safari template. The first thing I wanna do is make sure that we can actually get an equation going. So equals the sum of one plus one, boom, you got two, right? And then if I wanna grab stuff, so it works. So a lot of the smart features do work. If I hold shift and try to highlight, yeah, you can highlight a bunch of stuff. So let's hold shift here, control C, move it over, control V, and you can see that it's working. So from a familiarity standpoint, and again, if you know how to use Google Docs, Google Sheets, and Google Slides through the web portal on your Mac computer or your Windows computer, the experience is gonna be identical, right? It's gonna be identical because you're going through Safari. So the only real drawbacks or setbacks that you have are all on the Safari side and not on the Google side, which is something that you guys wanna keep in mind. So you can say, we can name it, so it's the test, you can say, don't forget to sub, right? So you can do whatever you want. You can cut it out, paste it over here. So all of your functionality and your shortcuts are there. So if I hold down command, let's see if it gives us any shortcuts. Yes, you can see that we have shortcuts, but again, they're mostly shortcuts surrounded around Safari. So it's mostly, you know, Apple T for a new tab and things like that. It's not really for Google Sheets, for instance. But let's go and see what kind of functionality we have. So we can go into file, it lets you open up a new one email it, you can actually download it and download it as a PDF, go through version history. So again, if you are familiar with Google Suite on Mac OS, then you're gonna be familiar with it on iPad OS because you're using it through the web portal. So here you can have the edit, you have view, insert, you can insert charts, image, drawing. One thing I did wanna see is if I grab the Apple Pencil and I start to maybe draw on it, nothing really happens. So the Apple Pencil 
is used basically as a cursor. So that you can see that I was dragging the Apple Pencil. But if I want to insert something, let's say a drawing, then I can grab the Apple Pencil and can I use it to draw? No, it still uses the Apple Pencil as like a highlighting thing. So if I use my finger, no. So let's see if we click on actions, nothing. So it doesn't really allow you to draw much, if anything. But hey, it is what it is. So you can't really use the Apple Pencil through the web portal, but just so you know, if you want to use the most function possible with you know, the Excel version or with the Google Sheets version of Google, then you gotta go through the web portal because here you can go through different data. So you can add data val validation, pivot tables, name ranges, you know, so basically, like I said, if you know how to use it on the Mac OS side, and I'm gonna keep repeating myself, you're gonna know how to use it on the iPad OS side because overall, the functionality is great, it's there, and if you know how to use it, then you're gonna be totally fine. So that is pretty much Google Sheets in a nutshell. And then if we do want to, so I'm gonna slide down, so if I want to open up a second Excel sheet, for instance, and really kind of play with it, I can click on one of these because you're basically multitasking with Safari. So as long as you can have Safari open, which you can and have multiple instances of Safari, then you're going to be good to go. So if I click on one of the next ones, you know, maybe grab one of these, control copy, control paste, and it works totally fine. So you can have a side by side view of two different sheets files or Google Sheets files and you'll be totally fine. So now that we have Google Sheets out of the way, let's go to another one. Let's open up a brand new Google Doc, right? See what it's like. Because again, you are getting cursor support. We're gonna name this one Test Doc. You get cursor support, you get all the, basically all the Google Suite support that you get on the web portal of Mac OS, you're gonna get it on iPad OS. So in my opinion, this is one of the best, you know, suite portals out there if you are on iPad OS, right? Because a lot of the Microsoft stuff, yes, you can use it with the applications, and the applications are actually really good, especially compared to these but the web portal version of Microsoft is not that good compared to Google because Google has been a web portal since the beginning, right? So, hello, thanks for watching the video. And you can see I'm pressing Control A to highlight everything, Control C to copy, pressing Enter a couple times, Control V to paste again, Control V to paste, right? So all of your hotkeys and your shortcuts work. Cursor support is there. Like I said, you can export however you want, however you need. Let's insert a table. You can insert any table that you want. You can insert different charts, insert different drawings. So the possibilities are pretty much limitless and you have all your different settings menus and formatting and things like that. So overall, Google Suite, I think is a much better, especially on an entry level standpoint, because A, it's free and B, it's very accessible no matter what operating system you're on, right? Even if you're using the eighth gen 10.2 inch iPad, you know, that's $330, this is gonna run perfectly. And then again, you're not even gonna need storage because everything is stored on Google Suite. And then the last one we gotta check out is Google Slides. See what it's like, see how it works. And you can see that it works perfectly, right? You can use different templates. I'm gonna press not interested. So again, remember not to download the applications because the applications are 10% of what you get on the actual web portal. Thank you for watching. If I can even spell, but all of your different, but all of your settings, all of your formatting, everything that you're used to is gonna be on Google Slides and it's gonna be awesome. So we're gonna rename this one test for video. You have your file, your edit, your view, you know, your slideshow to duplicate slides, delete slides, get into the actual slide. We can edit the theme itself, you know, maybe do one of these. So again, the possibilities, as long as you know what you're doing from a slides perspective, if you know how to use Google Slides, it's gonna work perfectly well on your iPad Pro. Again, as long as you have internet connection, can't forget about that one. So overall, the Google Suite is actually a great tool if you guys are in that ecosystem. The biggest thing is if you know how to use Google Suite already on your Mac, on your Windows, on your phone, on a previous iPad, then it's gonna be very easy to use on this current iPad with iPadOS 15. And the only thing that's gonna set it back is iPadOS 15 and Safari versus Google because on the Google side, at least on the web portal side, they're doing everything exactly how they do it on the Mac OS side. Avoid downloading the applications because they're not that good and they make the actual experience a lot worse. But let's get out of this view and go to the normal view. So that's pretty much gonna do for this video, everybody. Like we saw in the video, go through the web portal. Do not use the applications. The, the applications are very, very watered down. They don't even take into account iPadOS 13.4 cursor support. So avoid the applications at all costs. Delete them from your device to then be able to use the G Suite on Safari through the web portal to get the best outcome in terms of having a desktop class Google Suite experience, right? But overall, Google Suite works. If you're in the Google Suite ecosystem, it's gonna work perfectly just as it does on any other Mac OS computer or Windows computer because again, it's all done online, all do, done through the web portal. So if you know how to do things 
on G Suite through the web portal, you're gonna know exactly how to do that on the iPad Pro. And that's what's good about it. There's no, there's no real learning curve. There's no learning to do something new in a new way. There's no learning how to do something old, but learn how to do it in a new way because you have to learn it through iPad OS. It's all done through Safari, so all of your skills and muscle memory that comes with Google Suite is gonna translate over to the iPad Pro no problem. So in my opinion, the Google Suite is the most ready to be taken advantage of from the iPad Pro just because it's a web portal based application and it's very, very easy to use. So overall, highly recommended if you guys are in the G Suite ecosystem and on iPadOS 15. And I don't think that iPadOS 15 is gonna make a difference with your G Suite experience, whether you're on 14, 15, in the future with 16, because it's all done through Safari. So as long as Safari is working well and working how it's supposed to and it's not buggy, then your G Suite experience is gonna be awesome. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you made it to the end, you guys are awesome. Let's continue to grow the channel. And until next time, peace.